although we've had a tough day, but we're all working through it. Forest Hill Superintendent Scott Prebles can't make sense of why a 13-year-old student falsely accused an Anderson High School math teacher of sex assault. Investigators cleared the teacher today after they say the student admitted she made it up. The false claims included a descriptive account that during a class break, the teacher grabbed her arm, unzipped her hoodie, and touched her inappropriately, threatening to kill her if she told anyone. And we have a staff who is jittery right now because this could be done on any day to any one of us. The teacher was on leave for two and a half weeks while district leaders and sheriff's deputies investigated. The repercussions of something like this do have long-term impact. Just last month, a teenage girl told Cleves police a man assaulted her and tried to abduct and rape her. She admitted the story was false. Late August, police debunked claims a man tried to lure a 10-year-old boy in Whitewater Township. And just this week, Purcell Marion investigated a teacher after students alleged inappropriate sexual behavior as a prank. Some experts say false allegations make it harder for real victims. Prebles says every student and any allegation are taken seriously. We're not going to jump to conclusions. We're going to work with authorities and anybody we possibly can to ensure that everybody is taken care of. Now the sheriff's office tells me the 13 year old could face criminal charges for filing a false report. The district plans to meet with her and her parents to discuss things like accountability and making sure she learns and grows from this. In the newsroom, Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.